Today we're doing a full body pregnancy strength workout. I will use two sets of dumbbells, 10 pounds and five pounds. However, use a weight that feels safe and good for you, or you can just grab filled up water bottles or cans of beans. Start with a short warm up before I set the timer. We can come to all fours. Let's exhale, pull your baby into your spine, rounding out. Inhale, looking up, arching your back, tilting your tailbone up. Exhale, rounding out. Inhale, look up. Good, let's come back to neutral spine. We can take some hip circles here, moving through any places of tension. Let's go the other way. We're gonna warm up our wrist with wrist circles now. So now taking our upper body in a circle here. Switching direction. Good, let's take one hand and flip it over. Not placing all of your weight, but just to feel a gentle stretch here. We can switch to the other side. Good, releasing. On an exhale, let's come up onto our knees. Let's bring one foot forward. We're gonna rock forward into a lunge and then rock back, flexing your foot, gentle hamstring stretch. Just moving back and forth. Let's bring that leg in. We can switch to the other side. Gently rocking. Good. Tapping that leg back in. We can make our way up to standing. Let's continue our warm up with some arm circles. Going the other way. Good, let's take our feet wide apart. Stretch through our groin, take one foot behind, nice side stretch, moving back and forth. Last one here, good. And let's turn our hips as we punch. Tiny exhales, keep pulling your baby in. Good, we'll move into low impact jumping jacks, or if it's safe for you, you can do regular jumping jacks. Up 
Amazing, we're gonna go grab one weight now, making sure to squat down, not rounding out through your back at all. We can take our weight into our right hand, just above our right shoulder, bringing our feet nice and wide apart. We're gonna squat down, really shifting your hips back. Exhale, pull your baby in, coming up. Switching to the other side. Taking your weight again in your right hand, you can turn to your left. Lunging down this time. Squeezing your quads and your glutes at the top. Stepping your other foot back. Lunging down. Core is strong. Let's find our lunge on our other side. Left leg forward. Rowing here, not rounding it through your lower back at all. Scapula moves up and back. Switching to the other side. We can take our weight into a goblet position here. We're gonna step out, stepping in. Last one, amazing. We can place our weight down, grab a quick sip of water.
We can go ahead and grab both weights now. Micro bend in your knees. On an exhale, bringing both weights up again. Exhale as you lift up. Pulling your baby in. Getting ready to curtsy lunge. You can add a bicep curl if you'd like. On an exhale, let's lift our knee, pull your baby in, switching sides. Big inhale, 360 degrees into your ribs. Really gonna shoot our hips back here, slight bend in your knee. You don't have to go far if your belly's getting in the way. Amazing, we can place our weights down again. I'll grab my lighter set of dumbbells now. You could also do this section without any weights at all. We're gonna start stepping to the right and then come up on our toes. Switching to the other side. Taking our feet wide apart now, we'll squat down, extending out.
Last one. A slight bend in your knees, not rounding out through our back at all. With control, bringing our arms up. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Really squeezing your triceps as you extend. Pulling your baby in. Amazing. We're gonna lift our arms out to the side for an isometric hold and we can come up and down on our toes. If you need to take a break, you can. Last one, amazing. We can place our weights down, but don't put them too far away. Let's come to an all four position. Let's ensure we're not dumping through our lower back at all. Back is lifted and strong. We can lift opposite arm and leg, and then we're just gonna tap down and bring it back up. Core stays strong as well. Amazing, let's switch to the other side. Extending the other arm and leg up. We're holding here, and then we're gonna quickly tap down. Squeezing your glutes and your back muscles as you lift. Amazing. Let's tuck our toes. We're gonna to move into bear hover for 10 seconds, or if that's too much, engage your core, pull your baby in, and dig your knees in. If you're lifting, exhale. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release down, big inhale. Exhale, lift and hold again. Lift, hold. Releasing down. If you have your dumbbells that you can fit behind your knee, you can grab that now. Otherwise, we'll you can pulse.
Switching to the other side. Core is strong. Amazing. We can place that weight back. And let's sit back into our glute here, getting a nice stretch. Let's switch to the other side. Moving back to all fours, let's round out again for cat and then cow. Coming back to your neutral spine, we can move into hip circles. Big movements here. Going the other way. We can move into thread the needle stretch, bringing one hand up behind your ear. Let's rotate through our chest and then you can reach through your arm, placing your shoulder on the ground, moving back and forth. Let's rest here with our shoulder down for a minute. Coming back to all fours, we can move to the other side. Releasing here. Good. Back through all fours. Let's stretch out through the backs of our legs. We can extend one leg. Heel reaches away. Switching to the other side. Gently release. We can move into either yogi squat or butterfly pose here. So if you want to stand up, you can come into your yogi squat that way, or you can take your feet wide apart, shifting your weight back, elbows gently pressing into your knees, lengthening your spine. Beautiful, slowly releasing out. Let's come to a seated pose. We can extend one leg out. And let's reach up and over. Exhale. 
will pull your baby in to come up. Let's switch to the other side. One more deep inhale in. Exhale, coming out. You did an amazing job. I hope you're feeling great after that workout. If you enjoyed using dumbbells, let me know in the comments below by writing more dumbbells. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm also gonna link to my video on evidence-based strategies to reduce risk of tearing during delivery. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.